Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. Going down on Thursdays and Sundays here on main man, main man's boxing. They didn't want to fight. They never wanted to fight. I said on We Talking Boxing yesterday and was this close prepared to give Devin Haney and Bill Haney full credit and respect for sticking to their word. I think I even bigged them up a little bit last night. How could I have been so wrong? These dudes ain't nothing but a bunch of middlemen, weasels, simple and Simon. Y'all heard what Gary Russell Jr. said. The dang con the term sheet didn't have a promoter or a network. Y'all may say, what's the big deal? They're going to get the money, right, man? There is a big deal. Gary, we got you. There is a big deal. I'll tell you what the big deal is. When you don't indicate a promoter or a network, you got to then lean on Devin Haney's contract. Devin Haney is locked in with Matchroom USA. And DAZN has the rights to show the Matchroom USA fighters. If you don't indicate a promoter or a network, this automatically means that little Devin ain't leaving DAZN. Because he's obligated to fight on DAZN. Which means his fights got to be on his own. That's the trick. Whether it be for the rematch or the original fight. Now, Bill's running around saying that there was no rematch clause. Why? Hold on. Is there a rematch clause or not? Bro, y'all didn't want this fight from the jump. I'm going to tell you what they wanted. They wanted the clout from the DMV. Something that y'all ain't gonna never get, champ. Never get. This almost reminds me of when Eddie Hearn sent over the contract to my man Bomb Squad with no dates. And no venues. Is that where you learn how to send over agreements missing information, Bill? Is that where you learned it? Because Eddie tried that game before with Bomb Squad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Send over everything you asked for. But we're just going to omit certain details. We've seen this before, fam. And, Bill, you cut straight out of that, that same BS. That's crazy. That's crazy. You knew what you was doing this whole time, champ. Now, if Gary would have accepted those bad terms, I'm sure this one would have been came around quickly. But you knew what not to put in those term sheets. You knew not to put a network. And you knew not to put a promoter. Because guess what? It would have been revealed that Gary, Eddie putting up some of this money which means he's promoting you. Devin is putting this money, which means he's promoting you, which means you fighting on this own. This is crazy. That's what this was all about. Straight up clout. They got involved in something that ain't even involved them. The man was talking to Terrence Crawford. Y'all just interjected for clout, for shine, because you got a fight coming up with Gamboa. And Eddie Hearn ain't not letting you get up off that November card because he is not going to be able to find another headliner this close to the date. So y'all sabotage that term sheet. They try to look like and come out and save face to the public because you don't want to make it look like you the one capping or you the one that's out here lying. So you sabotage the term sheet. You put in stuff that you knew were red flags just to say, hey, hey, man, we sent you what you asked for. We sent you what you asked for. You asked for 1.5. We got the 1.5. Don't know where it's coming from. You said you wanted to fight. We got, you know, we no stipulations. Ain't no stipulations in it. There is stipulations in it. If I got to fight on your network twice. Because I don't see anything saying that Lord Devin can leave off his own. 
They kept telling you, well, we will like to do it on our side. You know why they don't want to do it on the other side for real? Because Devin can't leave. Those are the facts. Those are the facts, fam. Y'all need to stop believing this smoke and mirrors bull crap. And know what they, what, what, what they really stand in this. They were never serious. This was all about clout. We all thought that when Devin sent the term sheet, well, it's all good. Nah, he said the sabotage term sheet to make himself look good in the public. Disgusting, man. Disgusting. Then on top of that, they still trying to work it out with Bill. Like, yo, Bill, because I just caught a little clip where they was just at. They were just talking. And they like, Bill, like, we still trying to work this out. You ain't got to, you know, talk like, because Bill started talking like he was moving on. Like, all right, well, look, you got the De uh, Gary, Gary Russell show. We got the Devin Haney show. And we don't want nobody to think that we out here cloud changing. And we don't want nobody to think that, you know, because we men. And blah, blah, blah. So this was all about saving face. Because Gary put y'all on front street. When he told the world that I contacted Bill and Bill was supposed to go to Eddie and Eddie never called. I never got a return offer after I sent them my number. And so Bill and Devin didn't want to look bad to the public. I told y'all from the jump, this is how the turns Crawford and Gary Russell shit blew all out of any other boxing fans would have been like, yo, man, we ain't, it's cool if it happens, but we ain't people putting their foot on the gas. That, that was a way to distract boxing fans from the Devin Haney situation. And they worked because people stopped talking about Devin. But until Devin sent that tweet out, saying we got the 1.5 and that's when it went back to Devin and he could not be protected because he started running his mouth but in the beginning it was circling the wagons that's what it was that's why you saw Bill Haney out here constantly on all of these platforms trying to control the narrative he didn't see Batman coming he ain't see that coming he thought he was going to be able to go around his little buddies and say what he wanted to say. And it's going to be law. That's how people was taking it. The sad part is. Gary's always got the short end in this situation. Because technically he should have got that 2 million. He should have. But then when. He wanted to get the 2 million. People start running around. Oh he ducking. He ducking. He ducking. The protectionist. He ducking. He ducking. He ducking. The whole time. Bill was just using y'all. For clout and narrative. And people ain't even see it. People don't even see it. He was just using the YouTubers. For clout and narrative. To spread his BS. To try his best to make Gary look bad. And to make Devin look great. Devin had the nerve to say. The DMV is mine. And he immediately took that tweet down. Because we was about to be on his helmet. Slim, you ain't you couldn't even walk down one block in this town, Chart. You ain't cut from these cloths. You lost respect in the DMV after this. I hope they get it together. Still, I guess it's still enough time for them to try to salvage it because Gary was trying to put it together. Until he starts seeing Bill stuttering and, and, and fast talking, he, he got up out of it. Like, bro, what are we talking for then? Nothing else to talk about. I'm going to Javier Fortuna. He said he sent it up to Al. Al says, man, I'm, yo, you got a lot of shit that you ain't protected on in this thing. What the hell was Bill thinking? Doing this janky, janky situation. Clout chasing, man. You made Devin look bad in these streets. You better go around in your favorite channels and have him clean up this narrative. Because now y'all the duck bait. Y'all the biggest duckers in boxing. You ducked your biggest payday. All because you ain't want to be straight up. All you got to do is be straight up with the man. Look, bro, I don't know if I can get that money, man. But the best way that we can probably make this happen, right, is if we both go together and maybe we can talk to him and let him know what we down to do. You the same dude, Bill, that tried to act like pay-per-view was an option when you knew it wasn't. You knew it wasn't. But you played along until the very next day. You know pay-per-view is not an option for Devin Haney on the zone. But you played along for the sake of the narrative and the conversation. I'm trying to get this money. Man, you sound like a hustler. You sound like a like a little a dude that's walking up and down the street selling incense. 
that's walking up and down the street selling CDs or something. Man, yeah, man, give you two for one. You sound like one of them dudes. We're going to see you on the bus, walking up and down the bus with oars and shit around your chest. That's what you sound like. This was disgusting, champ. Devin Haney misses out on the biggest opportunity of his career because Bill Court got sense. Bill woke up. Bill talked to Kenny Porter. That's what it was. That talk with Kenny Porter let Bill know I'm in the I might have jumped out there a little too far. And now I gotta reel this back in. When Kenny Porter told him and looked at him like he realized I gotta reel this back in. I'm a little out there too far. I got Devin exposed way too much. And now I got to save face. Because if not, he'll lose a lot of respect. And losing respect in the DMV is huge. We're a major boxing market. Tri-state. Three states in one. And y'all messed up the bag. Because y'all want to be sneaky. Devin Haney promotions. How do you look like you... Gary told y'all from the jump on how this was going to go. We all, everyone knew that they had to go back and talk to Eddie. Everybody knew that they had to go back and talk to the zone. People were like, oh, the zone was on board because they put something in the chat. They said the fight is on. And they said the fight is on fire. Not the fight is on. The fight is on fire. This was disgusting. It was a waste of time. Good for hype. Good for profile raising in a way. I guess cap and do that for you. Gary, go about your business. These dudes ain't worth your time. They ducking. They don't want no smoke at all. Devin cannot leave the zone. He cannot leave Eddie. That ain't happening and it ain't possible. And most importantly, Eddie is not going to wreck his November show and take Devin Haney out of that show. Those are the facts. And we see that playing out. Call it for what it was. And that's all it's ever been from the jump. They ain't got no one point. Oh, we got the 1.5. That means you got a total of about three, three and a half to four. You ain't got that, champ. And clearly the zone and match room ain't on board because their names ain't on the term sheet. You got to go to them and beg to them for the cash. But you faking like you got it. Or you faking like you bossing that you can just call Eddie and tell Eddie this is what it is. Y'all ain't got that, bruh. But you try to fake like that to, 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 to Gurry. Try to make Gurry look bad out here. We done with this. I'm going in. Man, we done with this. Devin Haney versus Yui Yorkis Gamboa. Going down. Gurry Russell Jr. versus Javier Fortuna. In December. Going down. This is the waste of time. Peace out.